When we think about the future of the economy of the United States, if we don't have more computer science majors, we're in big trouble. And if half of our population, the female half, is not going to major in computer science, we're in big trouble. If we don't have women participating in creating the solutions to technical problems, I can promise you that the technical solutions will not be as good. We need to have diverse teams to create the world's greatest innovations. We need to build the talent pipeline. And to do that requires us to excite young women in middle school and high school to the future of computer science. It's really important to have a strong foundation at an earlier age uh, with computer science related tools like simple programming or even things disguised as games. Giving them experiences to hands-on play with technology and computer science to give them passion. It's that initial spark that really keeps them engaged in the field, inspiring them to pursue careers in science technology. Another key ingredient to help keep girls in the computer science track is to help them be aware of opportunities with great organizations like the Anita Borg Institute and the National Center for Women in Technology. NCWIT does a lot of work in Washington, D.C. because we're working very hard to make sure that policymakers understand the importance of girls and women's participation in computing. We're mobilizing in all kinds of ways. In 20 years, we're going to see what women invent when they invent technology. Because right now, we really don't know what women would invent if they were at the technical design table. We have an executive team that's really ready to take the Anita Borg Institute to the next level. Our signature program is the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. This year, we have 3,600 people descending on Baltimore, Maryland. 1,500 of these are students. And for them, it's often the first time they've come to a conference. It can be life-changing. Grace Hopper is the most exciting event ever, pretty much, because being in a computer science department that's so vibrant as the one at Browns is great, but there just aren't enough women. In my in like 125 lecture, there's like four girls, and you're here, and this is all the girls who have that feeling in one place. It's just so inspiring to see how many girls have the same interests as me. You walk around knowing that every single girl here has something amazing that they've done. It's really amazing how many technologies are out there and how many women from all nationalities are in these fields. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of mentors throughout my career, and it's those mentors who have helped shape me, and I hope with that knowledge, I can be a good mentor to other women that I work with on a daily basis. Right now at Microsoft Research, I'm working with Rain Johnson. I think it's really important that women early in their careers, just entering computer science in college or even in high school, have a female mentor. I get to see how someone very similar to me, someone with the same energy, with the same passions, how they live their life. And it lets me know what my future could be like. And having Rain as a mentor lets me see that I can be successful exactly as the person I am. I have gone to Haiti twice now through an organization that I partner with at STARS Alliance. We were able to start teaching introductory computer science and programming skills to a group of young women who served as mentors in three of the schools in rural northern Haiti. You can bring in food and solutions that will last a short term, or you can bring in solutions that enable the people to really take control of their destiny. One of the things that was really important when I met Katie is her passion to make a difference in the world. We know one reason that we're losing a lot of young women in computer science is the lack of awareness that computer science really does change the world. Young women today want to make an impact, and that's why we also partner with NetHope. NetHope Women's Tech Connect is a global community of practice and an, a professional online mentoring program to support women in developing world to get into technology. We put them through a training in technology that's relevant for their particular community, for their particular country, and then place them in internships in nonprofits in those local areas so that they can get actual real world experience. And 90% of the time, those internships turn into jobs. Computer science is a very creative 
field. It's a field where you do a lot of problem solving and collaboration. And it's a field that is changing the world. It's helping make innovations in healthcare, in the environment, all around us. Young women need to know that computer science is about people. Whether that person is your end user of a product or someone who you're teaching or someone who you're inspiring to really pick up the reins and become the next great technologist. Computer science is about people, not the technology. We will bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. To future innovation together. To future innovation together. 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 Through diversity. Through diversity. Through diversity and creativity.